Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a little project pan update. I did finish up one project, but there's kind of a funny story with that, so we'll get into it. But if you're new here, hi, my name is Vivian. I'm a robotics engineer with a love for all things beauty and makeup related, and I love it if you liked and subscribed if you aren't already. With that being said, let's just hop into it. Let's start out with some boring ones again, like like normal. My Kosas Cloud Set. This is like the powder that will never end. I don't know how much longer I want this in my project pan. Um, I've literally been using it every day, multiple times a day, because I've been using this as a touch-up powder as well. I don't love this as a touch-up powder, but I'm just trying to use up as most as much of it as I can. I have taken tape and like taken hard pan off of it several times at this point. I don't know, this used to be like one of my favorite powders, but I just don't love it anymore. If you've watched my Project Pan series before, like the packaging broke and I hate that it broke, it's very annoying to me. Yeah, I just, I just don't love this powder anymore. I don't love having this in my Project Pan, but I really want to hit pan on it because I've been working on it for so long. It's been almost like a year at this point and I just, I just, don't want it in my project pen anymore. I'm still gonna keep going with it. I'm still gonna keep trying to finish it or at least pan it, but overall I'm just not a huge fan of this anymore. The next item is my e.l.f. putty bronzer in the shade Honey Drip. I have the Kosas Cloud Set in the shade Cushiony by the way. Also the shade Cushiony is a little bit too orange and too dark for me, so if I do use a lot of powder I do find that it kind of makes my face a little bit more orange, but that's just because I like use it a lot as like a touch-up powder as well so it just overall anyway back to the elf putty bronzer I'm not actually sure if I've made a ton of progress with this I've been using it but I just can't tell like if the the little dent has gotten bigger I'd like to think it has but I just don't actually know and if you see any like big divots in it it's because I took some tweezers and there were like a bunch of hair fibers in there and I pulled them out because I thought it was kind of gross. There's still a lot of hair fibers in there, don't get me wrong, but I tried to take out a lot of them. I'm sure it's from my brushes and from things like that, like I don't think it's the product itself. You know, it's it's a, it's a good bronzer, I enjoy it. Like it's not my favorite bronzer in the world, but I have it, I'm gonna try and get as much use out of it as I can. And I definitely have a couple other like cream bronzers that I want to put into my project pan after I hit pan on this one. So overall, it's it's going. I don't have a lot of update on this. I use this every time I do my makeup. You know, it's it's gonna get there eventually. I actually have like no idea how deep this pot, uh, how deep the dent is like compared to this pot. I'm gonna keep working at it. I think I'll get there eventually. <laughs> the next item is my Kosas Brow Pop again the mechanism that like pushes it up separated from the product itself so when I like go to scroll the product back down it doesn't go back down which is kind of annoying. You know in terms of the product itself I think I'm slowly making progress with it. I've been using this a lot. I use this every time I do my brows. It, there's not a huge update with this. I used it today. It's It looks fine. Like I, I have no problems with the brow product itself. It's just really annoying that it doesn't scroll down and since it is like a little bit of a fatter tip than like a normal brow pencil, I find that it's taking me a little bit longer to finish it up. Not that progress, not that I can't see progress, but it's just taking me a little bit longer than it normally would. So I don't know. I'm gonna keep going with this. Not a super exciting update, but we'll keep chugging along. So the next product I have here is my Maybelline Master Prime. This is the Blur and Pore Minimize version of the line. I feel like my progress has been pretty good, kind of making even amounts of progress every month, which is a good sign. I usually use this when I do my makeup, but there are some days where I forget. For the most part though, I don't love this primer. I'm just trying to use it up because I do have quite a few primers that are in my collection right now and I don't necessarily need all of them. I don't think this primer does a ton for actually blurring and pore minimizing. Um, it's really just kind of like a silicone base, but I'm, I'm using it. I'm making my way through it. I think if I keep going at the same rate, I think I can finish this by like June or July. And I think, I think that's pretty good. At that point, this would have been in my project pan for like six-ish 
months. I have no other thoughts about this though. It's not my favorite. I'm working my way through it. Moving on. So the next item here is my NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum. I am slowly making my way through this. I feel like my progress every month has been about equal. So using the same amount of product every month, which is a good sign. You can see from the packaging that I'm right underneath where the word bare is in terms of product. So I'm a little bit over halfway done with this concealer. Yeah, it's a, it's a good enough concealer. I have no issues with the concealer. I just want to make my way through it because I, I do have another one of the NYX concealers like the same concealer in a different shade and i just don't need two of them so i'm trying to work my way through this one yeah you know it's gone i think that's pretty good progress for the last month and i will continue using it so the next item here is my rare beauty blush in the shade joy so i tried putting it in hot water for it's been like half an hour now since I put it in hot water to see if the product would like settle to the bottom and so I could see progress. It did not do that. So I still don't know how much product I actually have in here, but in my last Project Pan update, someone commented to start doing like a, a tally. So like every time I use the blush, I'll add in another tally and I like that idea a lot. So I downloaded a counter app on my phone and I am going to start tallying every time I use this blush to kind of get more motivation to use it. I use this literally, literally every single time I do my makeup and it seems like never ending. This blush seems never ending, but it's only because I have no idea how much product is in here. You know, I'm gonna keep working at it. I'm gonna see how many times I like actually use it in the next month. Like by tally tallying it, I would expect like 15 to 20 uses over the next month, but I don't know if I actually wear makeup every day like that. So I will definitely have to see. In the meantime though, I'm gonna keep using it. I It's so hard for me because there's no like fun updates about this. So I don't have anything new to say and I feel like these are all the same updates as my last project pan. So if you want to go watch that, like I guess that's probably the same. I'm gonna start tallying my uses and hopefully that will give me some more encouragement and I can start like showing progress in a meaningful way because putting it in hot water did not do the trick. So the last item I did end up finishing but not by like fully finishing it. So at the beginning of this month me and my boyfriend went to Denver for like a couple days. I had the Ulta Beauty juice infused lip oil in my purse we were walking around downtown. I go to pull out my lip gloss and my entire bag is sticky. And I'm like, why Why is my bag sticky? Like I thought it was my lotion or something that exploded. So I was like, okay, whatever. I go to pull out my lip gloss, I go to open it, and I realize that the entire top of the lip gloss, like where the stopper is held and the little part that screws on, broken, just like split off. I'll put a picture right here because I did take a picture of it and that's why my bag was all sticky so that lip gloss was donezo. I threw it out because I didn't want to just carry around a broken lip gloss so I don't have like the physical product here to show you. It was pretty close to being done anyway so I'm considering it an empty, I'm considering it fully finished. I have a bag that is covered in lip gloss to show for it. Now that that is out of my project pan, I'm going to be introducing a new lip oil. This one is from Kosas. This is the Kosas Wet Lip Oil in the shade Jellyfish. So I'm actually pretty close to being done with this already. This lip oil only has 4.6 milliliters of product in it, which is quite small compared to other lip oils in general. For example, the NYX This Is Juice Gloss is 10 milliliters, so this gloss is twice as much product as this gloss and it's way cheaper but anyway the Kosas lip oil I'm already like pretty much done with it there are probably like a couple months usage out of it left I don't foresee myself taking a long time to finish this up I do like it I like the smell of it I like the hydration I get from it but when I finish this up I probably won't repurchase just because it is kind of an expensive lip gloss and you get so much less product than all of the other glosses in my collection. I don't think it'll take me that long, especially because I am using it like 
every day kind of as like my lip balm and not just a lip oil so I've been dipping into this a couple times a day yeah I think I think this will go quick it is a shame that this has so much less product than all of my other lip glosses though because it is so expensive and I just I really feel like this is gonna get used up really quickly I guess that's a good thing in terms of project panning and if you watched my makeup inventory update which is the last video I posted you'll know that I have quite a few lip balms and glosses in my collection so it's probably a good thing that this would move out quickly and that is pretty much it in terms of updates but it has been a full year since I started my project pan and I just think that's crazy I know I finished up quite a few products through project panning and I'm hoping that I'll use up quite a bit more but over the past like 12 months a whole year I am really glad to have this space to just I don't know talk about makeup it's really fun being here and I'm excited to keep going I don't think this project pan series will have like an end like I think it's just gonna keep going and rolling until I decide that I don't want to do a project pan anymore so I think it's going pretty good I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to like and subscribe if you aren't already and I will see you in my next one bye guys